Hi guys, it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Happy October 1st. Um, at least this is the first day of October when I am filming this. As far as when it's going to be up on my channel, I'm not quite sure. Hopefully not too long after the last video. But since it's October 1st, I am feeling festive. I am feeling in the mood and I wanted to put out a festive video for you guys. As you guys know, October is like the only time of year that I am just feeling myself and I am like complete. I am happy. I am just feeling myself best way to describe it. And I know many of you like myself love this time of year. It's the best time of the year. And for a lot of us, it's the only holiday that we really actually are festive for. So perfect time to put out a video. I also did do my makeup very Halloween-ish. Um, I used my Beetlejuice palette to achieve this look. And basically I just wanted the goal to be like Halloween threw up all over my face. So um, this is some greens, purple, black. I know this does look yellow on camera, but it's green. It's like slime Beetlejuice green. Um, also, I wanted to go into a little bit more on like why I haven't been filming as much. I know that I took like a little hiatus for a few months and basically I've been really busy with work and also I have been getting my sleeve finished. So um, it's almost done. There's still a couple things left, but um, part two of that tattoo diaries, like tattoo vlog, me showing you guys my tattoos will be up pretty soon, hopefully. I did want to actually get a lot of pieces before filming the next one because I just don't think the video would be that fun if I came in with like three new tattoos. So, um, but yeah, I feel like anytime anyone, like I, you know, I'm catching up with someone, they're like, oh, what's new with you? I can't think of anything besides like, I've been getting tattooed a shit ton. So, um, also really glad that this sleeve is a lot more, it's not finished by far. I still have like a lot like here that needs to go on, but it's progressed a lot and I'm really glad for this time of year to actually have it like this full. So, um, super, super exciting, but, um, let's get on to the actual video. So today's video is going to be movies to get you in the spirit of Halloween. So basically all of these movies are just like to get you in that fall, October vibe. A lot of them take place on Halloween or around Halloween. So, um, some of these movies I've already talked about on my channel, but they're just perfect for that spooky vibe. Like I just, I have to name them again. So as always, I will be reading off of a list because my memory is shit. So, um, also comment down below, uh, any movies that I missed or movies that you just think are like Halloween movies, like the epitome of a Halloween movie. So let's get into it. First movie is one that has not been a stranger to this channel whatsoever. That is House of a Thousand Corpses. Of course, this is a Rob Zombie movie. Um, I know that Rob Zombie movies can be a little bit hit or miss for a lot of people. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but if you like kind of like shock value horror, that's not anything too intense. House of a Thousand Corpses is perfect for you. Also, it takes place on Devil's Night, the night before Halloween. So I feel like that's pretty on par with a Halloween movie. Next is going to be a movie that's actually not a horror movie. It's the only movie that's not a horror movie on this list, and that is Frank and Weenie. Um, honestly, you could do the original or the animated version. I'm more so talking about the animated version. They're both Tim Burton movies, um, and they're just really cute. I love them. I think that they take place around Halloween, I think, um, even if they don't. It's just that spooky vibe to the movie and just very like, I don't know, just the whole aesthetic of the movie is just very fall and on brand with that. Um, if you don't like dogs or you're not like a pet person, I wouldn't even waste your time watching this movie. I'm a huge dog lover, of course. I have my, my fur babies. So I just, I love this movie so much in general. It's um, basically, it's universal monsters mixed with dogs and like other pets. I don't know how you could not love that, so. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, you didn't bring up Nightmare Before Christmas or Corpse Bride or any of that, but those movies, let's be real, they're so, so big already um, that I don't feel like I needed to mention. I didn't need to mention them on this video. So, um, so I'm mentioning Frank and Weenie. Next is a werewolf movie, uh, Ginger Snaps. If you guys have never seen Ginger Snaps, do yourself a favor and watch it. I actually, I waited way too long to watch this movie and I regret it because it's, I just love it so, so much. It's such a great movie. So great for this time of year and just in general. It has Catherine Isabel from American Mary and she's just one of my favorite actresses in general. She's like my favorite scream queen. Um, I think she's fantastic, such a good actress. And I think she's gorgeous too. So um, definitely some eye candy in that movie too. Um, although 
I should not say that. I just realized I think she's underage in that movie. Okay, if you want eye candy, Catherine Isabel, watch American Mary. That, ignore what I just said. But anyways, um, I waited a long time. I slept on this movie heavily because I'm not the biggest werewolf person. I am like a total vampire girl. Don't get me wrong. I like werewolf movies. They're not bad, but I'm just not as eager to jump on watching them as, say, a vampire movie. But... This movie's a little bit cheesy. It's kind of that like 90s vibe, but I love those type of movies. Those are my favorite. So um, if you enjoy movies like that, you'll probably really enjoy this. I made Adrian watch it. I want to say like last year and I didn't think he was going to like it because it's a tad bit on the cheesy side and he loved it and was like, why did you not like make me watch this movie sooner? It's really great. So um, it's a great movie. Next is a movie that I'm going to be honest, it's a bad movie. It's a really bad movie. I enjoy it, but I don't even know if I like the movie per se. It's just not great. Um, this is All Hallows Eve. This is a really low budget movie and it actually has Art the Clown from Terrifier. It's where he first started off. So um, I'll give you guys a warning. The movie is just it's very campy, very cheesy, very uh, lots of things. But the last 15 minutes have Art the Clown in it. And it's actually really terrifying. I think it's the best part of the movie. And if the whole movie stuck to that theme, I would really like it. But basically, it's like little mini short horror stories, kind of like Trick or Treat, um, but not as good. I think it's still worth a watch, and I still do like to put it on um, for this time of year, especially to kind of have it on in the background and then pay attention to the last 15 minutes of the movie. I do like it. I, I, I don't want to say I like it. I like the last 15 minutes a lot, okay? But yeah, give it a watch if you if you want. If you are someone that does not like cheesy horror movies whatsoever, then just don't waste your time. You probably won't like it. Next is Scream, of course. Scream is one of my favorite movies of all time. So, I mean, I think everyone should watch Scream year round. But Scream is just the perfect Halloween movie. Like, if I were to have a Halloween party, Scream would be the movie I would pick. Um, I, I feel like it just is that perfect like fall energy just you know like like the leaves are falling and the air has that nice crispy cold feeling in it scream is the perfect movie to watch during all that love it don't even need to say anymore you guys know it's one of my favorites um next on this list is 31 this is another rob zombie movie i will say this movie is a little bit different than house of thousand corpses but it's still it feels like a rob zombie movie um i feel like it's more of one of his underrated ones like i don't feel like there was a huge push for this movie, but it's called 31, so of course it's perfect to watch in October. The next movie is a very small movie. I actually watched this on Netflix. I don't know if it's still on there. This movie's called Hellions. Um, basically, it's like these really creepy trick-or-treaters that are breaking into this woman's house. Um, honestly, this movie kind of creeped me out a little. Granted, I was, uh, I've talked about this before. I, I go to bed watching horror movies or like true crime, um, true scary stories, stuff like that. And I put this on just to take a nap to, And I kept waking up and I was like, oh, this movie's like really creepy. And then I watched it later and I was like, yeah, that was like a pretty decent Halloween movie. Um, so yeah, um, give it a watch. I feel like a lot of people haven't heard of it. So next is Haunt. This movie is on Shudder. At least I'm pretty sure it still is. That's where I watched it. Basically, it's that type of like, they're going to a haunted house, but the people in there are trying to kill them type of movie one of those. Um, I think it's still on there. I, a lot, I'm not listing where a lot of these other movies are because you can Google them and I'm not sure. Like, I feel like movies get taken off of stuff so quick. So just give it a quick Google or go rent it from somewhere if you don't have it. But like I said, pretty sure Haunt is on um, Shutter because that's kind of where it came from. So, um, but on the topic of those type of like haunted house feel movies, The House of October Bill is also another one of those. Um, this movie is very... I feel like it's a little slow moving at first. I've actually fallen asleep during it many times, but still really great for this time of year to watch. I have to mention Terrifier. I know I've talked about Terrifier so many times on this channel, but I think it's a perfect Halloween movie. Again, next to Scream, I would probably throw that on to Halloween party. Art the Clown is fantastic. I think he's creepy. I think it's the perfect amount of like cheesy, but also kind of creepy. Trick or Treat, of course, has to be on here as well too. Um, the stories, a lot of them take place on Halloween, if not all of them. I think all of them do. I haven't seen that movie in a little bit, but um, 
just the perfect Halloween movie. I think this is really great to show people who have never seen it around this time of year that just want to watch something that's kind of fun and kind of scary. Um, when I say scary, I, I don't find hardly any of these movies scary in the slightest, but um, like I'll have friends that are like, oh, like recommend me a good scary movie and they'll actually think it's scary because, you know, um, I... I just, I feel like I've seen so many horror movies that you get desensitized. Like there's maybe three movies that actually creep me out. So, um, and when I say trick or treat is scary, it's of course not like it's, it's very, very cheesy, but that cheese factor is there. Um, most of the stories are just like, I feel like they're very strange. Um, but I, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, if you watch this movie, you're going to be scared after you probably won't be. But some of them are like a little twisted, a little dark for sure. And the first movie you should watch on Halloween or on October is going to be the original Halloween um, or the Rob Zombie Halloween, actually. I know that this one is pretty predictable, but I feel like you can't make a Halloween horror movie list or movies to watch during Halloween without putting the Halloween on there. So take your pick for which one. I personally prefer Rob Zombie's Halloween. I know that's a hot take and kind of a rare opinion but I love it and a lot of people don't so that's personally the one that I jam with on Halloween is that one but I do love the original Halloween as well um and along with that you could really watch any of the original slashers like Freddy or Jason I feel like that's a given during Halloween but I did want to name some that you might not have heard of before or just may have forgotten about so that does conclude this list like I said let me know any movies that I missed or that I might not even know about um, but that concludes this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful October and have a wonderful Halloween. Hopefully I will see you guys before then with more videos. Bye. I love you so much.